Stuck in Vermont brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We are here in Rutland at the Carving Studio and Sculpture Center. Today we're meeting a group of artists who are working on three sculptures, which will soon be placed in downtown Rutland as part of the Downtown Rutland Sculpture Trail, organized by Rutland Blooms. This is how I spent my summer vacation. It's the biggest, largest area of carving that I've ever had to do. We're on the site of the West Rutland Quarries, which was one of the biggest producer of marble in the States for some time. Um, so we're honoring that legacy as well. Already there are two sculptures downtown, the Jungle Book and Stone Legacy. We want to create a trail so that people can come into the downtown, walk from sculpture to sculpture and get a real piece of Rutland history to create pride in the community, to really celebrate the arts. This whole history of this region goes back to the stone industry and the marble industry in particular. Vermont's history, it's really connected to the rest of America, so it was our role in kind of the building of this country. Stone from the quarry and Danby helped build the U.S. Supreme Court, the Jefferson Memorial. The ghosts around this place and the legacy, you know, the big holes in the ground. This area is one of a couple of real epicenters historically in the marble industry. The other one, both historically and today, is Carrara, Italy. My name is Andrea Gracia and I'm from in Carrara, Italy. I learned uh, to make a sculpture in Carrara. These guys have come. This is the second year in a row that they've worked on a project for us. We're thrilled to be able to facilitate that but also to learn about Anne's story, the 54th Regiment, and the different individuals that contributed to our culture. We have a long, long list of, of really cool characters and pieces of Rutland history that we'll hope to tell over the next few years as we do more sculptures. That is the crux of the reason I became a sculptor and do what I do. I just like to do things with my hands. I like to make things. Sculpire qua in Vermont, in mezzo alla natura, in mezzo I think it really has woken people up that this work can still can and does still happen here. Everyone can see it. Public art is wonderful because in a sense it's free. L'Italia ha la fortuna appunto di avere questo grande patrimonio artistico che diventa una risorsa anche poi, una risorsa per quanto riguarda il turismo, no? Rutland has one of the best communities that I have been a part of. And the people are so friendly and welcoming. Historically, um, folks have had a view of Rutland that was largely inaccurate, and I think this is part of telling the true story of Rutland, both our history and our, our forward progress. Rutland's in the middle of a renaissance right now, and this is one small part of it. You can find out when these sculptures will be unveiled downtown at the I Love Rutland Facebook page, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon.